One of the most common symptoms of endometriosis is pelvic pain, which is usually worse just before and during a period, but can occur at any time throughout the month. This can be so severe that women may be sick or pass out. Other symptoms may include pain during sex, heavy periods, extreme fatigue, difficulty getting pregnant, feeling sick, constipation and diarrhoea, and some women become incredibly depressed because of the long-term pain that they have. Less common symptoms which can affect up to 10% of women due to where the endometriosis is growing is painful bowel movements with blood in the stool if the endometriosis is growing in the bowel, pain when passing urine and blood in the urine if there's endometriosis in the bladder, and if it grows in the lung, a woman may also cough at blood. Approximately a quarter of people have no symptoms at all, and they may only find out they have endometriosis after having tests for other conditions such as infertility. It is different to a painful period because of all these other symptoms that are experienced and the fact that the pain starts before the period, continues with it and may also continue throughout the month. It's extremely important if you think you may be suffering with endometriosis to go and see your GP and try not to be embarrassed and share as much information as possible about what symptoms you are experiencing. If the pain or other symptoms are interfering with your day-to-day -day life, then this is not normal and it needs assessment. Tell your GP that you are concerned that it may be endometriosis, and if you can keep a pain and symptom diary for a couple of cycles before seeing the GP, this can be really useful to help them assess what might be going on. The GP will take a thorough history of your symptoms and may ask to perform a vaginal examination to assist them with the diagnosis. They then may refer you onwards to a gynaecologist for further tests, as the only way to definitively diagnose endometriosis is with an operation called a laparoscopy. Sometimes though, a GP may start treatment straight away to see if this can help and make a provisional diagnosis of endometriosis.